So there she is. <clears throat> the new machine. The new towing rig. Yep, she'll be towing the uh, the Quinny, um, which is not you know too much to ask of her, no doubt. And of course the van. Um, yep. Look, I've done a few mods to this thing already. New tires and wheels, suspension lift, um, just two inches, nothing radical, you know, for touring and not for, you know, serious off-roading because, you know, I don't think I'm in the serious off-roading off um, sort of stage of my life anymore, to be honest. Um, all right, so what's the series going to be about? I've still got the boat and I'm still going to go fishing. But the next few installments, episodes in uh, HK, <coughs> in HK's The Old Guy's Life, <laughs> is really tinkering with, uh, uh, with the 80 to try and get it, you know, uh, into a, um, turn it into a very, very reliable truck. A toad, like this one. Look, you know, you buy an old car, particularly a 33 year old one, um, you're gonna get lots of small things that go wrong, okay? It's been through, you know, a few ownerships, I guess. In, in this case, apparently, it was owned by one family uh, for a very, very long time before a um, young fella bought it, so the history goes. Um, so after owning it now for a couple of weeks, uh, I've certainly come across a couple of things that I'm um, gonna go, hmm, okay, well, that wasn't done properly. Um, so I'll just take you through you know, just a few small things, I suppose. Some of these issues are probably relatively minor. Um, there's a leak in the uh, wiper washer uh, reservoir. Um, I can cope with it for the moment. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to, to actually take that off. Um, the other thing I found uh, when I started uh, fitting a, uh, a wiring harness for a electric brake controller, and uh, I got under here, and I thought, oh yeah, there's a couple of bolts missing from the towing arrangement right there. So that's a new bolt, that one right there. Okay, took a bit of mucking around to get that sorted. Um, but it's a very important detail. If you're towing a van, these two bolts there, they were missing. They weren't installed. And they are instrumental in actually fixing the uh, uh, the bottom of that tow bar underneath there. If you can see, right there. And while I was in Townsville, uh, picking up the seat, the new front seat, a uh, young fellow over there pointed something else out that was a, a little bit of a concern. Very common in 80 series Land Cruisers, some of the 105s, uh, and probably a few other vehicles. A cracked chassis at the front, in, and in the case of the 80 series, where the steering box actually attaches to the front chassis. A bit hard for you to see over here, but Right next to the bottom, the right hand side uh, of the uh, bottom fixing um, bolt of the steering box, there is a small crack, probably about 25 millimeters long, that projects out. So there's also another, um, uh, I guess it, it, it's, a, it's a tear right along the bottom uh, of the chassis, uh, just below the steering box. Um, I'll show you it a little bit um, later on and we're gonna have a go and see what we can do temporarily to stop that tear from going any further while I'm waiting on the uh, metal plates, the reinforcing plates to arrive from I think Melbourne. So the other interesting thing that I discovered yesterday is that you now I've got this uh, great big tank uh, under here uh, I've got no idea how many uh, litres of diesel this would hold, but it looks like a, like a fair amount. And these mounting brackets over here, there's another one over here on that side. Well, 
there's not too many screws in them, is there? <laughs> so there's a couple of things I can think about this. Is that um, I don't think I mean there's a little bit of the sh bit of shading uh, on, on the actual uh, uh, circumference of the hole uh, on the fixing bracket itself, indicating to me that it did have some fixing uh, bolts in there at some point. Uh, then in any case, it was all too hard just to put those little bolts and fixing screws back, which is um, <laughs> uh, fucking annoying. So I've managed to put um, a couple of uh, bolts in uh, to secure. Um, couldn't get to the to the bottom one, um, and I've got one in there, and I've got one more to go. Wasn't too hard, really. Pain to ask, you know, having to lie on the fucking truck and all that sort of shit. But anyway, you know, <coughs> most of the time we go and buy a second-hand car, we go and you know take the oil cap off and go and see if there's any blow by and check the oil and check the radiator and check the tires and you know go and have a look underneath whether we got some oil leaks and all that sort of stuff um, but um, you know some of us are a bit more thorough than that and I guess you really can't check anything look the roadworthy certificate um, never picked up the cracked chassis at the front <coughs> <coughs> the front chassis uh, where the steering box um, is bolted on uh, it is common in an 80 series uh, but the roadworthy didn't do that okay so the roadworthy yeah, okay the, all the brakes work and the steering works and, and everything else sort of goes okay you know to pass the roadworthy certificate but seriously you know this tow bar was not fixed properly at all and would have probably come a gutter at some point uh, towing um, so it pays to look and it's the same with the fuel tank what if, if I'd have put a hundred liters of fucking fuel diesel in here um, and um, you know these back brackets weren't held in uh, not fixed to any part of the chassis at all um, and the, the weight you know you go over a couple of bumps or you know a couple of rough roads that tank would have dislodged possibly possibly uh, um, you know, cause some major damage to it. Anyway, um, long and short of it is, you know, you get an old car like this, and lots more has been done to it. I suppose um, you just have to check yourself. Anyway, we'll get into the other stuff um, with the next couple of episodes. Um, thanks for watching. See you later. I think I'm going to need a beer. Maybe even three. See ya.